Hello everyone, welcome to another session with me. I am Sanyukta and we have been running this series on whiteouts and couple of tiles that we have already drawn including this one which was the last tile that we drew, right? So furthering our journey on whiteouts, uh, we have not really explored um, different string ideas till now, right? So I did give you a teaser on how you can use uh, various strings and leave a portion of the string as it is and that also creates beautiful whiteout tiles right so in that uh, direction let us work with a seed shaped string today however this is a very common string you can either fill the string or you can tangle around it but we are going to do something different we are going to take the reference of the seed shape but I am going to add these horn kind of things inside the sh see, uh, the shape like this yeah and then I'm going to straight away start tangling so let's see uh, I'm going to start with uh, probably these curves because it fits in the space nicely. I can maneuver it. Right? Again, I'm going to do the same exercise here. You can choose any other tangle of your choice. Please feel free to do that. This is the first tangle that came to my mind looking at the spaces that I have. So I started with it. Yeah? again so I'm using a string here but we are going to leave sections empty and not tangle so how a beautiful string can help you do that create a beautiful white out tile is what we are doing today I'll give you some more string ideas as we finish this session. So this is the Banzo grid. We have used this tangle a couple of times now in this session, in this uh, series, I'm sorry. So now what I'm going to do is, you can also extend this, there is no harm. Right? You can complete it because this is the section we are not going to enter. Rest of the sections we are going to tangle. So there is no harm even if you cross that line. Yeah. And now let us just... Go ahead and do what we like, tangle, just going with some free flowing mocha, not thinking much where, what. Yeah, so you can pick any tangle of your choice and just start tangling. Fill in the small little intersectuses at the same time. Right, so I'm just going to keep going like this so you can add some of 
of these you can add some nice jetties whole lot of tangles that I'm going to be using here so use your own mix right and then you can use some hollow bog double lines here take your time choose tangles that come to you easily don't be in a hurry enjoy the process I'm just drawing the way I feel like whichever tangles are coming to my mind not thinking really where what going with the flow yeah now these spaces it is up to you you want to ink it completely you want to add some orbs there you want to add coffering entirely up to you how you want to go about it yeah so generally the spaces left in between hollow bog is inked however if the spaces are big enough you can always insert other tangles creating a tangliation right so this is the tangle hollow bog and this is from where the hollow bog effect comes from in Zentangle. That is not crossing lines but drawing behind. Every time you face an intersection. Yeah. So take your time. I'm going to pick up each of the spaces and just ink. So I am done with my hollow bob. Now going to add some nice moons or moon pies, whatever you feel like. So just going with the flow, extending, drawing tangles that I feel like at that point of time a nice moon pie again starting another one a moon some auras a thicker aura some lines another aura some big orbs fill in the negative spaces and then add another aura yeah so you can add one more probably I'll do that so I'm drawing it in a shattered fashion. Yeah. Changing sides. Again draw some lines. Another aura. Draw some orbs. I 
again add another aura yeah so done with that now I am moving on to another tangle this is called Ixorus right so once we are done with these sections I am just going to add another line on the same side of each line just moving from one tangle to the other right and then just going to draw some moons like this one up one down one up one down up down up down up down yeah and then ink them or you can add some flower inside whatever you feel like Take your time as you ink, enjoy the process, make sure you ink it nicely without any empty sections, without any dots or small spaces which look really bad when you put it inside in front of under the camera, I'm sorry, right, so make sure you ink it well. And the last few. Right? So the next step is to aura. So closely aura each. Like this. So pick any section, start from there and just keep orying as much as you want. Yeah. So adding one aura to each simultaneously and you get this beautiful woven kind of a look yeah take your time and do that exercise for all the sections Spaces are small, so don't haste up. Draw the lines with patience. Yeah. That's about it. If you want to extend more, you can. But I'm going to stop here and probably insert something else. Uh, some nice doodles, probably. Small ones. Yeah, small little spaces, feel free to add some tipple or something else, whatever you feel like. 
you can also go with some caviars right so i'm adding an orb adding another orb inside leaving a small highlight and inking the rest of the space right just that the caviar's egg actually looks like them yeah so take your time do that exercise at your own pace fill up those spaces you can also add some bronze cheer if you wish whatever you feel like the entangle has a lot to do about do with how you feel and that is why it's also a therapy yeah so how you feel also reflects on your tile right so let's move further the spaces i'm just going to insert some nice orbs you can also insert something else if you feel like but tipple comes very handy as far as very small spaces are concerned these spaces in between my mooka sprouts again to be filled in right So go with the flow this section can be inked generally in jetties this part is inked however i'm just going to add some bold lines like these as if i'm drawing knight's bridge take your time feel free to add tangles of your choice right so we have some more spaces here so we can always use a grid tangle now yeah let's see let's add a grid and some more lines right and then up to us what kind of a there's so many right so probably we can draw something like i wall yeah so i wall is a very simple tangle you just have to ink alternate spaces one the seed shape and in the other the space other than the seed shape yeah that's what we do in ivo so if i'm starting here inking the seed shape right so in the next one i will ink the spaces other than the seed shape
that's the tangle I wore. Again I will ink the seed shape. Again I will ink the spaces other than the seed shape. Right? And I'm going to go on like this. Tangle pattern I wore. Yeah, so I'll just continue like this. So this is the tangle I wore. Now we are left with these sections. So let us now ink our bunzos nicely. You can also add some orbs inside it if you want instead of inking the way you feel like. So there are certain days when you don't feel like inking much. You want simple line based angles. Right? So those days I don't ink much. I don't choose tangles that ink much. That need much of inking you know. So it depends. As I keep saying a lot depends on how you are feeling. There are days you want to do lot of aura based angles. Just keep drawing lines and lines. Not thinking much. Just keep moving hand in the same way. Right, so I'll just do this. And then we move to shading. So moving on to shading. So just pick up your pencil. And the blending stub. And start to shade. Spaces are small here, so just at the ends, not much. So this is one string idea that I used, yeah, and just to tangle around. As far as the jetties are concerned, you can always add on one side, looks nice. Hollowbog just touched the intersections, you don't need to do much here. Yeah. on the moon pies attach on the orbs both sides of the line the intersections the ends Just a little. First 
slight touch on one side of the doodles some on the mocha heads some on the one side of the poke roots yeah so let us blend this much and then we will see if we want to do something else also so starting with our hollow box just a slight touch on the intersections don't blend too much that's it yeah the lines look like going under the poke root look look like spheres when you add shading on one side one side of your jetties a slight touch on the ansu both sides of the banzo don't blend too much just blend a little and the xorus slight touches so that some whites are evident in between one side of the doodles and finally your eye wall eye wall i've just added on the grid the square grid that we drew that's about it we are done right so that's how we converted our seed shape into an interesting idea so you can if you want add touches of white chalk just reemphasize on the banzo although there is a highlight already there if you want you can touch it on the other side of the jetties a slight highlight the low and high effect a little touch on the xorus where you can see some bit of white you can highlight it that's it we don't need to do anything else yeah so that's the string for today now there is another nice string that we can use let us first close this one so i'm going to put my chop sign and date it right so another nice string that you can use and probably complete it 
till we meet again you can use this kind of a string right so tangle all around and leave this space empty try it right so the tangles that we used today i'll just quickly mention them to you so i started with this tangle which is bunzo we have used this tangle couple of times now right and then we move to some mocha sprouts this one this is actually tangle jungle we need, we used a whole lot of tangles here right then we move to poke roots we also introduce some jetties here these balls and some ansu then we moved on to hollow bog then we introduce some moon pies then we move to a tangle called ixorus some caviars and toodles and this tangle here is called ivo right so whole lot of tangles that we used on this style these are all the tangle original except ansu right so i shall see you again with another new session till that time do try out this string idea and i shall meet you again bye bye